We've just been talking to some locals and they say that Paul and Bill is probably about four hours walk from here. We're somewhere around, we're on the, the white bit, the bridge. But to get to the end where it says number 10 with the Portland Bill Lighthouse, it's probably about four hours, they reckon. So we're going to get a bus. We're going to get a bus from over there to Portland Bill. Oh yeah, by the way, Chesil Beach over there, it's not actually sand, it's all pebbles. It's just the total pebble beach, apparently. The Isle and Royal Manor of Portland. So yeah, I think the classic like an island that's connected with this bridge rather than a peninsula. So yeah, we're gonna go on the island when the bus driver gets here. We're on the bus to Portland, it takes us to about 25 minutes away from the lighthouse, so let's go. Stonehenge stone circle type thing I really want to check out. We're about to enter the mystical stone circle. Crystal Woo Energy, Cosmic Woo Energy inside this stone circle. Cosmic Woo Energy. And there's the Portland Nature Reserve and Quarry next to the stone circle. We'll just show you a glimpse of this. We're not going to go around all of it. There's a mystical stone circle. Let's see what's over this hill here. I'm assuming we have some little citadel or castle thing over there as well. Yeah, we're not quite sure what this castle or citadel thing is. We'll try and find out some information for you about it though. Is there any way to get inside this citadel or nah? It's all walled off. I like that turret thing though. Nah, it looks like it's all sealed off. I like it though. It looks cool, doesn't it? Yeast Reservoir 2 and 3. What? Yeah, I don't know what this thing's about, but I think it's cool. I like it, yeah. Look at it. It looks like there's more with the nature reserve over that side as well. learningstone.org.org is in, in terms right. of you know some people back in the day would carve marble how does this is this quite a softish softish no, stone this absorbs light this is better it right. doesn't retract light it still has a memory of time in it that's why they're called memory stones as well light at the molecular level right if you put it under intense heat and pressure it will become marble. The memory will be erased. We were just talking to Hannah from Community Stone Works Space. There, they're the people responsible for building that stone circle. She was just explaining it all to us how the stones, that the actual shape of it is, has some relation to the rotation of the Earth around the sun. How the gaps in between the stones create different vistas on the landscape, different things than our. What was she saying about the, the stones retain memories of the Memory. earth or yeah. of history or something? Calcium carbonate uh, from the sea floor. Yeah, and this like the community stone working project is trying to keep that tradition going. So that was cool, yeah. We're going to hop back on the bus and try and get closer to the Portland Bill. That's what we came to see. This bus has got a wooden floor. Check it out. How cool is that?
as I just said, yeah, this Portland Island is absolutely massive. We have no idea. We've been told this is the best place to get off to walk to the Portland Bill Lighthouse. Check out that old building all covered in vegetation like that. This island is very different to Weymouth Town and the beachfront. Yeah, it's got a totally different look and vibe to it. I've never been to Northern Ireland, but when I see places in Northern Ireland on the TV, this is what this place reminds me of a little bit. Sorry about my ignorance, I don't really know what I'm talking about, what places in Northern Ireland that I've seen, but just things I've seen on the TV kind of like, a, this is sort of reminiscent of it. Yeah, it's lady we're about to explain we're going the wrong way. Uh, there's like a path along to the cliffs that takes you around and there's actually three lighthouses, not just one as well, uh, along the West Weir, which is the name for the cliffs. So, but we're hungry and we're going to go to the Codfather fish and chip shop up there, get some food and then take it along the cliff walk. We've got the food from Codfather's, we're going to find a nice chill spot to sit and eat it. Here's the footpath that takes us along to the West Weir, where the lighthouses are. We found another quarry here. We decided we're just gonna sit on these stones and eat our chip shop food. Oh, look at you, cheesy bean chips, Matt. That's a bit manky, don't they? How come he gets a tray and I'll just get mine in a bag like that? What's that about? Anyway, let's try the curry sauce what with the chips. Think? Oh, hang on, it's gone in, it's fallen in. Standard chip shop curry sauce. Yeah, we're gonna snap all this then go down there. There it is, can you see it in the distance, a disused naval base, we're going to go and check it out. We're coming to a hedgerow here, I don't know if we had to get over here or not. We might have to go over to the cliffs that way, we'll see. Oh, there's cows here, there's cows in this field. They're behind two fences. Yeah. Hello. Look at him in it. Got a face like a diseased arm bone. You were the ones in the middle. Yeah, we can't go through that field with them cows, so we're gonna have to head this way and hopefully this will take us to the cliffs. Or what are more commonly known as the West Weirs. On there. Right, what, are you gonna get that other leg on? Onto okay. the board. Right. Then down. Okay. Right, here's your tin whistle. How are you going to keep it right? Just do that same technique. No. Put your foot in the middle on the barbed wire. In the middle section where it's lower. Just do it slowly. Right. Then bring your other... Like no, that. not like that. You're going to get on your bollocks, man. You're going to get barbed wire. Put your foot right on the top of the barbed wire, the top one. Are you doing it more dangerous? I can't seem to. On the top one. You're gonna have to Let's... just stop filming. Give me a hand, man. We made it. Matthew did it a little bit arse over tit, though. Look at these cliffs. Charming. Charming the cows and bulls. Bit misty, isn't it? This would be an ideal place to come down and throw your old car batteries into the sea, wouldn't it? If you want to come down and toss some car batteries in, do it from these cliffs. You've got to toss the old batteries into the sea to recharge the electric eels. This is the ideal spot. It's a little bit muddy and wet in places, but we're going to have to press on. We've come this far, we've got to continue. 
Looks like there's been some horses coming down here. There's some horse footprints. Look at it. This is this is it. Ideal spot. Look. I just stand on here. Stand on the edge and toss your car batteries in. Mind you, you've got a bit of a distance to throw over that bit, haven't you? It's not about the destination, it's about the journey, Matthew. There is stuff going on in this complex because they've got cars in here. I can hear something, somebody moving something. Well, this is one of the lighthouses up ahead. Yeah, we're basically traipsing through mud and horse shit now. But here's one of the lighthouses. Portland Bill, there he is, that's Meaton's Towers twin, look. Portland Bunkhouse. It's like a, I think it's a hostel on the Portland. Near the Portland Bill, we didn't even know about this. And there's the third lighthouse over there, the white one, if you can see it. We think this might be a pub down here, we might be able to go in there for a drink and maybe get a taxi back because we are actually miles away from where we live now. And it's going to be getting dark out here. Is it a hotel or a bar? What is it? There's Portland Bill Lighthouse. We finally got to see it. Brilliant. And there's actually some houses here. People live out here as well. Here it is, Smeaton Towers Twin, Portland Bill. We made it. And the English Channel, check it out. There's another little bunker here. It's darker than a dog's guts with its ass all blocked in there. You gotta admit this place is cold, Matt. You bet you're glad you came down here, aren't you?
that was our exploration of the Isle of Portland in Dorset next to Weymouth we're not going to be able to have time to get around the rest of the Portland before it gets dark so I think we're going to go to that inn up the road have a drink and ring for a taxi back to the campsite so yeah this was the Portland video I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did making it see you in the next video This is called um, Matt dropped his can of cider on the rocks, it's all bashed in and it's leaking, it's like a bull's ass shit leaking Oh it's leaking all over me, right, let's go to the pub I want to film this church but it's darker than a dog's guts with it's arsehole blocked and it's not showing up on the camera